Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris Demetra from It's The Dems World. Uh, not a lot of people would appreciate this, but a word worker would. Over the weekend I had worked on organizing all of my spare lumber. Uh, I got these things that were designed for bike racks and sort of separated out to thin stock and sort of two foot long pieces and uh, a bunch of uh, oak half inch boards that I had. And then actually I do a lot of intarsia work, so I organized all of my, you know, my padu, my yellow heart, and my ends. So I just sort of organized the different kind of woods I had in little Ziploc bags and just some spare cut off. Uh, this was a magazine rack, and what I did with the magazine rack is I actually organized it out to uh, some oak, an oak pallet that I had gotten, and uh, cleaned down the edges and processed it down. And this is just basically scrap lumber that I can use. Again, another drawer that was designed for clothing, um, and I just organize it out like I have all of my. Um, this would be uh, tiger maple or curly maple in there sort of the thicker stock. And, but anyways, again, when you're looking for that piece of lumber and it's just a big pile of mess, that doesn't help. So I just organized it over the weekend. It was a simple project and I tell you, like I say, it really does help when you're looking for a specific piece of wood. Uh, I did get away, uh, throw away about 25% of my, my stock, which I felt was pretty successful. I'm gonna go take that to the uh, campsite and have a little bonfire this weekend. Other than that, I'm about ready to process some uh, some pallets that I got. A friend had asked what I do when I get these these uh, pallets broken down, and it's all this rough lumber. And what do I do to process these down? And I was thought I'd show you quickly what I do once I get a piece of pallet that is pretty rough with nails in it. And let me show you the process I use to get get this ready to be used here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to lean the nails right next to the edge of my bench and I just tap out the spiral screws as best I can. Flip those bad boys over. I pull it out and I like to put a little lever in there. Pulls them right out and put them into a, uh, a little magnetic parts holder so I don't lose the nails on the bottom later on. The ends I don't really worry too much about taking these off. What I do is I just simply put it on the old miter saw and just cut off the ends. Why you, know, you might get a little bit of shorter board but at least now there's a nail in there and stuff like that so I'll just safe with that so they don't fly back but if you take your time with it now I don't have to worry about pulling out those ends so we got ourselves a board that's all ready to go through the thickness planer and we also want to true up the edges here so uh, that's the next step so next thing I do is I like this little uh, clamping system that Steve Ramsey had a video on. I think I'll put a little link to it. And I just want to make a straight edge where there's sort of rough. And I clamp that down. We'll run that through the table saw real quick to get a nice straight edge on it. Now once I trued up the one side, I can take it off the clamp, run that along the fence, and now I can true up the other side. So now I got a nice process board that was a rough piece of pallet, and I'll set them with my other ones here. And this is some of the processed lumber I got from the, the pallet boards. Again, if you're doing something that you want to be a little rougher, that's fine. But I think they're all in pretty decent shape. They're pretty stable. They've been out in the elements and have dried up quite a bit. So uh, I think that's a nice piece of uh, nice piece of oak that I got. 
So, but anyways, that's it. Somebody had asked me, a couple of people asked me how I process the the pallet wood once I receive it, and is it really worth it, and is it, you know, a piece of junk, and I said, no, it's good quality wood. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to do a little update today, and uh, uh, thank you for subscribing. We're about ready to hit that 1,000 subscribers, so you gotta love that. Thanks again, and keep that wood working.